Hello, great people of Biafra. Hello, great Biafrans. Hello, great people of Biafra. I salute you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time zone. My people, I have come again today like the way I promised. I promised my people that I would join you people two o'clock. And that is the reason why I'm here today. And this one going to be a quick one. This is a very emergency broadcast. And I want you people to pay attention because we have begun to decode them. We have begun to do what? To decode them. And that is why I'm here to talk to my people for them to understand. I am here for two issues. I am here for two issues. And you will understand it in a simple terms. But before I will proceed, I would like to introduce myself to people. I want to, Matt Bonnet, you are welcome to the program. She goes here, you are welcome to the program. I want you people to write me before I introduce myself before I move so fast. Because this time around, I'm waiting for nobody. I'm waiting for nobody. I have to believe in that name that Mazen Nam become given to us. That this is the people we must listen to. You think I care what you want to say? Thank you, my people. Thank you, my people. Joseph, you're welcome to the program. Thank you. Write your name, let me call. Or should I proceed because uh, it's not going to waste much of the time. Now, I want you people to understand this. I would like to introduce myself. My names are the Bia franchise in Washington and Mazo Kechukum. I am from Ihala in Anambra. Anambra is a Biafra land. I am under chain of command of IPOB leadership. Mazin Namdikan is my leader. It does not matter. But now pay attention. Like I said, I'm not going to waste much of your time. I will try my best to stop this broadcast at least 30 minutes. At least 30 minutes. And that is the reason why you have to share this video. It's very, very important that we begin to tell our people the truth. We have decoded them. And this time around, they are crying. You know, our leader has said, time which I number to us, that we will keep on setting an agenda for these people to follow. And that is exactly what we are doing. But today, all of them, they are crying. Those molds and infiltrators that they are into this struggle, they are beginning to make themselves known. It's obvious that all of us can see it. But now, let me go straight to this issue that I bring here because I have two articles to treat. You see, I want to read an article. From there, you will begin to have the sense of the video that I'm about to show you people. Because things is happening in Biafra land. I want to start with hope. Ozodema. What the hope Ozodema is doing to our people. I have told you people, I have changed. All the whole pattern have been changed. We will begin now to discuss and begin also at the same time, begin to debunk the Zuko Nigeria. Because the other people, we have won them already. We are going to be just shipping their issues just little because that fight has already been won by IPOB, DOS, the highest office, and the social media warriors, and the freedom fighters and lovers of freedom, gatekeepers, rest of them, they are there, the panelists. We have debunked them. Great people of Biafra all over the world. That issue has been won. So now we are going to be coupling the message that we are going to be giving to our people now. You see now we are moving with speed. Do you understand what I'm saying? I told you people, time will come. The pattern will change. And that is why we're here. Now pay attention because there is a video that I want to show you people. So that you will begin to caption what I'm saying. Where I'm coming from and where I'm going to. This is about hope. Who's on them the man that uh, Abuja in, in planted in our land, they begin to do the peace of full and killing our people. But this video that I want to show you people now will shock every one of you. That they have left Ebony. Now they are in Emo state. We thought that this Ebu Babu day we are talking about was launched in Ebony. But today they are working with the full, full army in Emo state. 
Sorry, Kim Fulani in Imo State called Opos or them. That is the issue that I want to frustrate to tell our people what this man is doing. And I will show you videos that you will shock that these people, even though the worst part of it is like our own people are doing debates. Unfortunately, our people are the people that are selling also our people out because of things that I don't understand. I don't know if they are tired. We have said this down with that number. We are moving train. If you're tired, you drop. We continue. You don't have to begin to sell your own people. You understand what I'm saying? You will pay attention to this video and you will see what Hope Rose Odema is doing in Imo State. And listen, I'm not saying about this article because everything that I'm saying here, there must be a proof. There is a proof. But we are not coming here to show you all the videos. Because we are not coming here to analyze or begin to address somebody. We are just trying to make you to caption what is going on. Just a short form of it. Don't begin to tell people 20 hours, stay here, telling us how many people you got. We are not here for that. We burn for this struggle. When we were in our mother's womb, and I always salute the highest office of this movement, Called DOS, head by Mazishike Dosim. That's what Mazin Namikan told us. He said to us, even though I went to meeting, you want to listen, go and listen to these people. That is what our leader said. Why do you want to begin to twist all things now? Begin to the twist things that I don't understand. Why can't you allow Mazin Namikan to judge that case when he's out? Then he will begin to tell us, Mazi waiting. Now you tell us, make we listen to DOS, and DOS is the highest office. Why do you want to begin to this? I mean, insubordination to the structure that Mazi Namde can put in place. Why should you want to begin to put stored? Why do you want to be a confusionist? Why do you want to begin to use the brains of our people to begin to siphon or? I don't know how to put this, but our people have to be conscious and understand what is happening because we have decoded them. And this time around, they are crying. I hope you are getting my point. Okay? Now pay attention to this article. That is when you will begin to get the view of the video that I will show you with proof because we are doing everything with proof. Like I said, I know our speed. I just speak kind of now. You understand what I'm saying? That is exactly what I'm doing. You people have been saying that the Pierre French don't want you to have deviated. I told you people, time will come. You see, when they will begin to discuss about us, that time we begin to tackle. You have been seeing Bugatti is coming out little by little doing some broadcasts. We never go there. We will get there. At this time around, we are getting there. Because all of them will, will come back again the way it used to be. When people were saying, Bia franchise, you are doing well, I will back there because the fight will have won it. Now pay attention to what Hope Rosodema is doing in Imo State. All of them, they are bed of the same feather. They, have, they, 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 they are the same cackles. And you will never understand them because they are uh, Fulani boys. Now pay attention to what is happening in Imo State. According to this article that is here, and after this article, I will begin to show you the video, the proof, because you have to get the proof so that you will not say the Biafran child, the one Chileke, just bringing things from his mind and begin to dish out to our people exactly what others are doing. We are different. You see, on this quest of self determination that we are into is something that we are not going to stop. We will keep on pushing. We will keep on pushing. Till we get where we are going to. Because we all know that at the end of that tunnel, is that, that place where we say there is a lot of darkness. At the end, there must be a light that will surface. And what will be that light? That is why you must keep on focusing. You must keep on resolute and formidable. And everything you are doing, you must be calculative. And have vision. And mission. So that you can be able to execute your plan, your 
planning in future, like what we're doing today. We are looking towards to restore Biafra. Some people will call it uh, uh, actualizing. Biafra have already been actualized, but we are trying to restore it back from those people that have been stolen it from us. That is exactly what we are talking about. I hope you are getting my point. You see how calm am I am today so that I can be able to explain to our people things that they want to understand. To be in case if they have already, you know, bacchanized their brain with a lot of promises online that none of them could not be able to show themselves upon all the titlement and the names they are giving to themselves. They couldn't send even people to that Biafra land. But now, let me pay attention because I don't want to talk too much. According to this article here, according to this article, <clears throat> so that you will get the caption, these are the these are innocent IPOB members adopted by Hope, who's the Minisha, and the Nigerian JTF in Imo State. Their house were burned down, and even those that ran into the bushes to hide for their life, they were also tracked and arrested. Nothing shall happen to those, those men and others, others people, like the IPOB woman leader whom they adopted days back. And this article also said, Nigeria and the world at large should know that adoption, arresting, arresting assassination and killings of Biafras will never stop or uh, terminate the quest of the restoration of Biafra. I hope every one of you understand this simple English that I just read to you people right now. We know all of them, those moles, we are beginning to decode them. But now, see the video that I'm talking about. But I think I'm going to read this once again so that people will also get me clear. Those are the innocent IPOB adopted by Hope, who's are the militia, and Nigerian JTF in Imo State. Their house were burned down, and even those that ran into the bushes to hide for their life, they were also trapped and arrested. Nothing shall happen to those men and the others, people, like IPOB woman leader, who they adopted days back. Nigeria and the world are uh, uh, Nigeria. And the world at large should know that adoption, arresting, assassination, and killings of Biafra will never stop or intimate, uh, terminate the quest for the Biafran restoration, the restoration of Biafra. I hope you people understand it. But now pay attention and see the video that I'm talking about. Pay attention and see the video that I'm talking about. So that Kega Lese Ne Nolo. So that you will never say, nobody tells you. So you will never say, the Bia franchise never say this. Wait, let me bring it very, very well. So you will understand what I'm talking about. So you will understand what I'm talking about. The peace that Fulani and Hope, who's of them man, is committing in our land. Pay attention, you will see. You will see very well. You will see it very now. Now, just pay attention. Now wait. Let's go, let's go. You see. You see these people you see here? You see them? Are you looking at them? You are seeing their faces. This is what our people are doing today. In the doing the beast of full and, and hope. Those are them. Let us hear, listen to it. I just muted it. I know, I know. My people, I know. Just pay attention. I will unmute it. I just want you people to just see what is going on. Okay? I want you people to see. Now pay attention. Listen. You. So, I talk. I let the arrest of this person. This person? Yes. And this person. And this person. Yes. Why this was... We were arrested by the police already, yeah? Yes. Then today, what is it, today's date? 12th of uh, February. 
Yes. Recent thing. It's recent. You. Yes. And you led us to the arrest of those people arrested in that camp inside that bush. Our people are like leading them, these two people. Okay. Now. Yes. Those people inside, what's the name of that bush they arrested? You will call it. Oh, that bush is in Umezu Omo Akareka. Okay. Mm. That is the place. Who and who used to go to that place? Although uh, there are many there, but. Uh, um, uh, Don't mind the reading is from them there. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. You say there are many there how? Mm, I mean there are many there are many people there, okay. but the only people that I can, I can remember their name was Peace Peacemaker and uh, uh, were they also included here? No, they are not included. But all these ones arrested are IPOB members. All of them, they are IPOB members. You see how our people yes. are selling each other? Man. Okay, that woman. By hope, who's the name of the woman leader? Mm. Of IPOB. Of mm. That is the woman leader that I read out. Men. Yes. Then, who, who is treating you this your leg? Which hospital are you treating this your leg? It's Majesty Hospital at Kimbulu, sir. Do you know the name of that, that doctor? Dr. Obiyama. But this man was arrested today? Yes, sir, yes, sir. What did you tell him when you went to treat your leg? I was not the one that took myself. Uh, it's the man, the community policeman that called me work. What is his name? Chikandele. Police is calling them for work. Chikamba. He was the one that took you to the place. Yes. yes. And the doctor knows that he's bullet wound. Yes. After then, I will repeat it without saying anything. The, the because I just want you to go to get the, the, yes, the caption. Has been treating you since when? 26th of December. Sir. Did you have any police report before you started treating? No. No, sir. Okay. How much did you pay him? Um, my, that my Oga pay him to order. That is Oga? Police Oga? Yes, sir. For all the treatments? Yes, sir. My people, do you understand what I'm saying? I will repeat the video again without any putting any words because I just want you people to understand what is playing. In a sense that the first guy they showed is working with the police with hope. Those are them. Man. The guy said who sent him. He said he saw a police officer. They are going to every village, every camp, pointing out our people. They will begin to adopt them. I want you people to understand what hope who Sodema is doing. But those people that they are there saying that they are Mazen and the kind of disciple, they even causing more harm to Mazen and the Kano. Why other people are underground doing the base of Fulani like hope who Sodema that they, they they planted in our land to begin to destroy things that we have built with our strengths. It's not their fault because these people are cowardice. They are idiots. And this Nikon pool in Finland, we have decoded them. We have decoded them. The moles, we have decoded them. There's no two ways about it. I know that you people will not get my point because it will take you people years to understand what is going on. Now, Juju, now you don't know. They have already. Don't, no, no, don't see. Just see down the look. That is exactly what I have done to you people. That you people can't even reason at all. Can't even see things the way it's going. Can't even see that these people have come for destruction. When I'm saying destruction, not to IPOB. Because in their hundred years to come, they can't even penetrate the foundation. Talk less of to get an insight. You understand what I'm saying, my people? Now pay attention. Because we have to understand every single thing that is going on. What hope who's them is doing with a bubako that was launched in a boy, now in Imo State, killing people, kidnapping people. Also the woman leader. Let us listen to this uh 
thing once again without breaking it. Because I hope you people have listened to it small. Now you people will get the 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 full the full arrange way day for this thing. How they hope Uso Dema is killing our people in because of say he wants to be governor. Okay, now pay attention. So Hey, please, who is calling this phone? Please don't call. Please don't call. Who is calling this phone? Please don't call. Please don't call. Please. Don't call. Don't call, please. I am on live big broadcast. Please don't call, please. Please, I want to show my people something. We can talk later, please. Don't call now, please. Thank you. Don't call now. It's not... I'm not coming here to do a broadcast that some people can call. When we are doing a... Uh, a, a broadcast that people can call I can also tell people that it's going to be a, a Q and A so that you can be able to call and ask your questions or interact from I mean, your opinion so but today is something different I want to show people what is going on so that they will understand now pay attention before I go straight to the next uh, uh, topic that I have because it's very very important okay this person from this person yeah. what you why this thing will never start from beginning I, mean, I think this thing have to be showing i don't care this person. i don't care if he's showing so i talk i let the arrest of this person this person yes and this person from this person yes why this was we arrested by the police already, yeah? Yes. Then today, what is today's date? 12th. It's a recent uh, video. February. Yes. 2022. 2022. You and you led us to the arrest of those people arrested in that camp inside that bush. Yes. Inside that bush. Okay. Now, those people inside, what's the name of that bush we arrested them? Our oh, Tabush uh, is in Umezu, Omoakareka. Okay. Mm. That is the place. Who and who used to go to that place? Although uh, there are many there, but... Uh, um, uh, um, peacemaker and uh, Apete. Okay. Mm. You say there are many there how? I mean there are many there are many people there, but okay. the only people that I can, I can remember their name was Peace Peacemaker and the uh, were they also included here? No, they are not included. But all these ones arrested are IPOB members. members. All of them they are IPOB members. And ESA members. Yes. What of that woman? Okay, that woman is a is a woman leader. Woman leader. Mm. Of IPOB. Of IPOB. Both those men. Yes. Then, who who is treating you this your leg? Which hospital are you treating this your leg? It's Majesty Hospital at Kenguru, sir. Do you know the name of that that doctor? Doctor Obiama. But this man was arrested today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What did you tell him when you went to treat your leg? I was not the one that take myself. Uh, it's the man, the community policeman that called me work. What is his name? Chicken Mele, and the guy name is Okamba. He was the one that took you to the place. Yes, sir. And the doctor knows that his bullet wound. Yes, sir. Did he bring out the, the pellets of the bullets inside your leg? Yes, sir. He has been treating you since when? 26th of December. Sir. Did you have any police report before he started treating you? No, sir. How much did you pay him? Um, my, that my Oga paid him 240000 so now for the cars. Yes, sir. For all the treatments. Yes, sir. Yes, my people. Yes, my people. Uh, the video that I will show you people now, the next video that I will show now is the video of, uh, uh, you know, say, I said that their house were burned. We are, their house were burned down. Uh, that is the video that I will show my people now so that they will understand that everything I'm saying is not lie. Because you see, those of you that are thinking that you are doing this to destroy IPOB, Unfortunately, you see those people that also took the police to the camps, 
to capture and adopt our people. All of them at the same time have wounds. They shot them. They sh that is why you have to understand. You see these people, they can never, they can never leave you. Even though you, you did everything on this planet else to make them a friend of yours, they can never expel you. They can never even think about that. At the end, you will follow them. They will never leave you. At the end, you must follow them. You see those people that led them into that places. They, today they have wounds. Who will help them? Nobody. At the end, they will kill them. They will go. So stop. Stop snitching. Stop snitching your own people. Because these people you are doing the same thing to, they will never love you. Now let us see that video when I'm saying that these people, when I'm saying that uh, they burn their house, then I will read the article once again, then I will move to the another one that I have. Now, see the house so that you will hear from the correspondent that that is there, videoing everything, you will hear the name that is calling. You will hear. This is the burn house. They burn everything down. But you will listen. Oh, yeah, hope. Also, them, ma. Nande, ebuba, ebuba, go. Nande, police, ma, po, olo. But that man, an answer. He can answer to almost community. Yesterday, ka, hope, po, borondo, ti, eh. Be an answer. Ma, me, oya, a, choga. Gan, an, ke, Israel, ha, ene, sezon, has, rube, su, si, he, lan, da, place, he, mo, ke, ma, do, ji, bili. So the whole property, my heart, bush, and my boom, my plantain, oh, you know, bush, you can't mind, okay, madam, and all the way, and I had it. Bush, and Chanile, Lawa, Lawa, you know, I'm very bad at this family. Body, completely building, Oko. Three buildings. Move, Lawa. Lawa. Oko, move, and we hope, 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 I got my gown. You say? Okay, I'm a gown. Thank you, my people. As we just finish uh, seeing the video, so that you people will not say it, I'm lying. Now, let me repeat the article again, according to what we just uh, finished watching right now. Then you will see that all this thing that I just read out here, all of them was accurate. They are accurate. These are innocent IPOB members adopted by Hope, who's a demo minister, and the Nigeria JTF in Imo State. Their house were burnt down, and even those that ran into the bushes to hide for their life, they were also trapped and arrested. Do you understand what I'm saying now? They went there in our camps. Some people are leading them because hope, who's already might have paid them some toro. They are now turned to snitchers, and at the end, they will fall and you will never expel them. Go and ask uh, Roger Sabogaosa what is passing through to go and ask Roger Sabogaosa. They can never expel you, they can never leave you. Because you see, that's something our people don't understand. Is somebody that is looking for you to kill your brother, and you lead that person to kill your brother, do you think that that person will trust you? That is also the ways of Fulani. That is their way. They can never leave you. You can never go scot-free. And uh, the people that run... Uh, uh, the people that ran into the bushes to hide for their lives, they were also trapped and arrested. Nothing shall happen to the men, the men and the others like IPOB woman leader who they adopted day back. We are telling them nothing should happen to them. Upon a farmer, let them listen that nothing should happen to them. And uh, we are also telling the Nigerian and the world at large that adoption, arresting, assassination, and killings of Biafras will never stop Biafra or terminate the quest for the restoration of Biafra. He can never stop it. Now, this is done. I want to bring you to another one. This one is another one. It's another one. This one is another one. Wait, just hold on there. Hold on there. You see... I want to ship this one. It's going to be a quick one. It's not going to take my time because this one is just a quick one. I want to tell you people that insubordination 
insubordination is something that we can never accept. Simon Eberima is insubordination. Like I've been, you know, I've been telling our people that they should be careful of what people are telling them on media, giving them hope that they should be careful because not everything that is greater are gold. Makandeli Lili. I want you people that Simon Eber have said it and nobody can ever dispute it. You may turn it round anyhow you want. Because you people, they have already, you people are, have connived in adoption of our leader. Also working with Ebu Bago and Hope, who's are the Dave Romani, killing our people, adopting our people every single day. Simon never have make it known. Tomorrow you will see, see people that will come and begin to defend him. But that is your people's problem. I don't want to take much of my time on this issue of Ebedima. I have told you people what Hope Zodema is doing to our people. And some people in America and USA, they are still, you know, supporting, shouting. We can never listen to anybody again that giving any order from DSS Don John. Who is that? Have you ever asked yourself that question? I told you people before, Simon Eber have already vindicated. You know, sometimes I told you people that sometimes when I'm talking, most of you people won't understand some certain things that I'm, you know, I'm saying. In a sense that is something that is very deep that you were not there. So how will you understand what I'm saying? You, you will take your time. Remember the last broadcast of mine that I did that I said, Simon Eba will keep on telling you people about the slot they gave to him, or he was concocted. They tell him what to do, and he keep he come, he come out here begin to say they want to take over his platform. Who want to take over this guy platform? If you are broadcasting on Radio Biafra, how can somebody take over your platform? Your platform is your platform. A slot is a slot for you to have a a, a, a admin admin. We are talking this slot we are talking about is admin. Let us make it open admin so that you can be able to log in and make your broadcast with the timetable they have because you are not only one there it's admin with the timetable you cannot just jump out and begin to make broadcasts like our leader Mazen and can. you can't because there's a lot of people are broadcasting before you someone ever turned it upside down that they want to take over his platform and I come out again and say, that is only what Simon Eber will be telling you people. But Simon Eber never told you people that he have already received another message that he should stop tackling or condemning or other attack. You know, to the leadership. He will not tell you, he did not tell you people that. Up to date, he never come out and say, but he, he said it on this his broadcast of uh, addressing himself. He says he's addressing uh, <laughs> our barrister, the able barrister, able barrister, if I need your phone, the able barrister. Simon Eber says he's, uh, he tell his followers to go and attack our able barrister till he's satisfied. When he's satisfied, then he will begin to call them to stop. <laughs> hey, God. He, he said it with his mouth. But I'm not coming here to begin to tell you all this video because I'm not coming here to talk about them. I will tell you what they said. I cannot show their video because these people, they are irrelevant. They are just inconsequent. I don't think about their what they are doing because these people have come to destroy. And we have to stop them. We, with any power belongs to us. That is on in, in our disposal. We can't stop because this quest of self-determination is something that we have already chosen or our our identity and for some of you that don't know now you begin to know you see this video that i want you people to see now i will not show the video you people know his voice you people have listened to it but i want to clear air so that you people will know that all this thing i've been saying that all are true no lie about it you understand what I'm saying, my people? When I told you that Simon Eber never told you people that they have to, they, they have received also a message to stop attacking DOS. That he should stop. He did not uh, come out in public and begin to tell you people that. 
What he's saying today, uh, Mazi, uh, uh, Barista, if I your phone, I told him this. He recorded that. This one tell him, and I cross it. All this thing is just a gossip. Simon never supposed to be the, himself to begin to bring that allegation that he's laying that he, he was with Asari Dokumbo this and that. That is what he's supposed to do. He don't supposed to begin to tell us. You bring it open. What expose are you doing? Keep on saying expose. Nobody. Now pay attention because I don't want to dwell so much on this. This is a quick one. Pay attention to Simon and listen what he said. That is what I bring to you people today. Just pay attention very well. You will understand. That what I'm saying before, what I have said, okay, what I have said is this, that Simon Eber even don't care about our leader others again. Go back to my, I think that was last week. Go to that last week and see it. And the barista, if I your from, also said the same thing that I said. But if I'm telling you people, some people will say you are getting this thing from, I tell you that Shukuoki can speak to us, we come out to tell people. Now they have told him, but he couldn't. Because I said the reason why is because Simon Eber has chosen his part as autopilot, as a, as an as insubordination to Mazen Namdekano structure and the Mazen Namdekano leadership. He will never take any order again from. I said it last time, but people don't understand. But today they have said it. Now it's clear to every one of you. Keep on following him. It does not matter because some of you are just a, a Nikon pool like him that don't understand nothing. Just playing with your people's minds and their emotion. That is what he's bringing to you people. Pay attention to him. Narration of which I am very proud of, part of, will be still there. So these are the questions we want to ask you and we want you to also go back to the media and address it. Otherwise, yes. we ask you going forward, do not make comment okay. on anything concerning IPOB. Okay. If Mazin Namdikan will give you a message, you know where to deliver that message. Wait, go to the wait here, wait here, wait, wait here, wait here. You see, like I said, I will begin to tell you things that you don't know. I want you to understand that Simon Eber believe fully that Mazen Nambekano is sending message to people. He said it. That whenever they give you message, you, Mazen Baristefan Yejofo, go and give it to the leadership. Don't come out and make it public. That means that Simon Eber knew quite right that leadership are receiving message from our leader. Why does he keep on telling you people? That Mazen Nandekano is not in right position. There is a gun on top of him, Dures, and they will have we have stopped them using communicado because this time around they are only using Donjon and DSS custody. But before they were calling it communicado. Now he understood, he said it with his mouth. I don't want to repeat it. Let's continue. The message is meant for and deliver the message. To so that we don't go into complete and the total uh -huh. media war okay. with you. We know that the Nigeria state is running helter scatter because of the emergence of the autopilot okay. under the leadership of Mazen Ambika. Oh, yeah. There is nothing anybody can do about this movement autopilot. Automatically piloted movement for Biafra restoration. Okay. There is nothing anybody can do. We know that the emergence of this group will make a lot of you to run mad. Okay. And we are already seeing it. All right. And of course, we expected that they are going to use you and they have used you. Uh -huh. And I'm not going to caution anybody who gets angry and address you anyhow they want. Yeah, this is just this one. Time. This is when uh, Simon Eva was telling his followers, go and attack a uh, Barisifan Jofum. And at the same time, he will be telling you uh, that uh, I love you. But it's a job for, I don't mean this to attack you. I don't mean this to, 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 to damage your image, but I will allow those idiots, Nikon Poos like him, to go out there and begin to insult our barrister. You see what I'm saying? In this year, our people that don't want to learn at all, you people are just a bunch of idiots everywhere, just following a Nikon Poo in Finland. 
just coming out on social media every day yapping talking all sort of nonsense from his mouth and you people are listening to him he said that it's illegal wait let, let us listen to it. that's something he said i want you people to just begin to ask yourself those questions that i'm going to drop here after he finished because i don't know why our people cannot just understand common letters that written bold on the wall pay attention i will not caution anybody uh -huh. who will come to my program or who will come to anywhere to begin where we're having program attack. To, to vent his or her anger attack. against you attack. for this one time uh -huh. I will not As all that now. anybody to vent his or her anger, especially uh -huh. concerned dear friends, uh -huh. about the interview you granted. Uh -huh. After venting their anger, yes. when I feel that I am satisfied, when you are satisfied with their anger, I will begin to defend you as usual. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. But let me also you see what I'm saying? He will tell them to go there and abuse uh, Mazi Ifanye Jofun. And when he's satisfied, as organ on a tea order on our bow moving go yeah on our but those 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 stupid idiots that roaming around like like monkey because these people there they are monkeys they don't know anything he's telling them go out there and begin attack a man that came out and said this is what onion told him to come and tell umu shineke and Simon Eba is angry because he has been trying to protect or trying to stop all this thing. Maybe he has been begging by the Stephen Yejobo for years. Don't come out and say this. Don't come out and say this. We will get. He said that he, he want to open a can of worm. That he wanted to open this thing at the end of the month. But this time around, Barry Stephen couldn't wait. And himself have loose from the rope because they tied this guy rope. He have lost or loose from that rope. That is why he's coming to Yam, telling them, okay, um, bueno, potano, bueno, no, no, but if you're flowing, you people will tire. Come, pay attention to this, then. Tell you that this is not targeted at. Okay. Um, yes, like wait. This. Another one. Um, Let us bring the last, the second one again so that we understand, because there's some things that I want you people to understand on this uh, quick one that I'm giving to my people. Let us see this one now. I hope this one. The way of the freedom of the Afro people, not when this generation of which I am just wait. To no, no, just hold on, my people. I have to get it. Come Comment. Okay. That came from Barista Ejo Four. Yes. It must be very clear, clearly stated. Yes. If he beginning to advocate yes. for the state of Biafra, he must be very, very clearly to mention that to us. I want you people to know. Somebody just uh, write on comment section. Um, panicking. That is panicking everywhere. They are panicking because Mazin Nandekana have make he have voice out to. Our barrister, come and tell them who they should listen to. And now there is confusion. There is helter scatter everywhere. These people are running. They cannot stop anymore. But they can hug our banica neka. Do you think they will stop us doing what we are doing or setting agenda for them to follow? We have set another agenda. They are running helter scatter. Pay attention. If he is ready to take part in the IPOB movement and agitation for Biafra, he must come very open. Because for now, the only business that Barista Ejofo has uh -huh. in Biafra struggle yes. is to give us updates about the legal proceedings, uh -huh. about the technicalities, uh -huh. about what they are doing and preparing for to defend Mazin Namdikano and how he can be released unconditionally. To which people? But it's that if your four have no business uh -huh. to come publicly to advocate yes. or to speak on behalf of the criminals in the US. Hey. He has crossed the boundary. <laughs> and that is unacceptable and will never be acceptable. If you see, you know, there is something about this guy that I don't understand. Believe in me, I don't understand some things that is, this guy have been getting, this guy is getting wacko.
I see him and the same place that he is, you know, he was standing like he was in podium addressing people, shouting, doing his hand like this. Everyone are back, I don't know. Pay attention. So, not go too much and go deeper uh -huh. into what I'm about to do. What are you going to do? But I will reserve it. Don't reserve it. For the next time. Don't reserve it. But the question is this. Uh, what is the question? And the day of this new dimension has come. Let me make it very clear. We are not going to receive any order from anybody that is in DSS dungeon. Finish. <laughs> who is he talking about? Can you tell me who is talking about? This Nikon Pool. This Nikon Pool in Finland is talking to our leader. He's telling you open and plain that he will never listen to Onion Dumas and Namdekam. Whatever he said, whatever that come out from his mouth to our legal team, that he will never listen again. I said it last week. I told you people this last week that Simon never have received a new message. Stop attacking DOS. If you want to fight for me, as you claim to be a disciple, go out there and defend me and talk about me. Stop castigating and calling names to those leadership that I put in place. Simon Eba did not told you people that. But today you have made it known. Like I promise you people that whenever they say this, I will still come back and tell you people, go back to my video. Go back to my video and listen to it. Let me see if I can be able to see this. Um, let me see this thing. Sorry, my people, because uh, I did not of this thing. Let me bring out this the date of this video that I'm telling you people, so that you can also go there and listen to what I said. Because I told you people, every of our meeting, whatever we discuss in the meeting, they must carry it because it's a time that they can never stop. Anything we discuss this time around, I will come late when they cannot be able to stop it. When did I say this night? I thought, let me just go back in. Okay, that was on 9th of February. 9th of February. 9th of February 2022, the year of Elohim. I want you people to go there and listen to that broadcast. We are in Rapture Media. Here I am today. We got 26,000 viewers. I want you to just go there and listen to that broadcast that I did. It was also a emergency one. Go there and listen to it and come to begin to compare what Simon Eber just did yesterday uh, where he was talking rubbish. I greet you, great people of Biafra Freedom Fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. I salute you. Quick one. We have the good, the good them and they begin to cry. Simon Eber have make himself, he make his stand known that he will never listen to our leader. That thing that I said last week, 9th of February, 2022, Simon Eber said it yesterday. Remember I told you people about the radio. The same day that I talk about the radio, they will open. The same day that I also said the same thing. So you go there and listen to it, and you will see that every of the activities is coming to my desk before they will announce it. There is no two ways about it, and they can never stop it. Like I promised them. They can never stop it. They can never stop their franchise to be getting in, involved in every atrocity and abomination they are committing against the children of Shuko Kikabiyama. Trying to, trying to keep our leader there. Simon Emma was saying that uh, there is something that he said. I think I wrote it down. Did I wrote it down? I think he said something like uh, that... Uh, that they are high profile, they have he's working with a, a high profile international standards. That they have worked with a high profile that is a part of high profile international people. And he, this guy is telling you that he have is working with a, a high profile international, uh, in high profile international standard, and he never take over the case of Mazen Namikano. He never sent any representative. He never sent any legal people. He never, I mean, just trying to write some petition against that who call Nigeria, apart from this thing that we are doing on social media. My people, I greet you all, and I salute you. We are moving tomorrow. is going to be full, full broadcast. 
because we will stream our leader, we will stream all the whole uh, protests that are going to be going on at the same day. We will stream all of them. We will see our leader coming to court. We will show you people everything. We have a correspondent also in that zoo, in that heart of evil in Abuja. There is also a correspondent, our own correspondent. We have gotten to that level that we send our correspondent. We are under the leadership of Mars in America. Like I always tell my people, DOS is the highest office. Without DOS, nobody else. I want you people to want with that DOS, nobody else. That is what our leader told us. Unless our leader said otherwise, he came out or he come out, I mean to say, and begin to tell us that these people have deviated. Then we will begin, but as of now, that our leader never said anything. He told us time with that number. Now DOS, without DOS, nobody else. So what do you want me to believe you? Our leader is speaking to people. To our legal team, they have they have come out. He came out yesterday. He said it. Who you should follow. So if you follow them, uh, those people, you are on your own. I greet you. Good day and welcome, my people. And remain resolute for tomorrow. We are coming live and direct on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandikano. DOS is the highest office of this movement, and Mazin Nandikano is the highest commander. IPOB is our family. These three things, I must defend them jealously, regardless who you are, your position, and your wealth. It does not matter. Good day to we see tomorrow. Almost a Biafra. Is it? Is it?